Windows is a rather stable operating system if you're just trying to carry on your day-to-day -day tasks, but it's not perfect and does run into errors from time to time. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about file opening and writing errors in Windows. So if you're having trouble opening a specific file for Windows, the first thing that you're going to have to do is to try to run it as an administrator. Uh, the easiest way to do this is just look up the program that you're trying. So let's say I'm trying to run hardware info. All you have to do is just zoom in a little and you will see the run as administrator option right there. Just click on it. Windows will demand permissions from you. And then whatever program you're trying to launch will run with administrator permissions, which means you'll likely not face this error. Another thing you can try is using a Windows administrator account. Now you're going to have to enable it first. So the first thing that we are going to do is going to command prompt by pressing Windows key plus R typing in CMD and then pressing enter. All right. Now in here, you're going to enter two commands. The first one is net user administrator slash active colon. Yes. Press enter username could not be found it's because i made a mistake when writing administrator one hour later uh let's just launch windows powershell as admin right here okay uh by the way i got there by right clicking the windows start menu and then checking windows powershell you may have windows terminal here so it doesn't matter as long as it has administrator privileges all right uh so we're going to type in the same command which is net user administrator slash active colon yes command completed successfully and just to be on the safe side let's go ahead and set an administrator password as well press enter type in a password this is going to be a simple password and we're good to go so now whatever program you're trying to access all you have to do is press the start menu click on your uh, username profile wow this is not allowing a switch right here yeah click on and here we are wow expose slack on my desktop but in any case that should um, once you're into the admin account you should be able to uh, do whatever you want change whatever you want freely Next up is changing the installation directory of whatever program that you're struggling with. Now, as you might know, a lot of your programs by default are installed in the Windows C program files directory. So as you can see, Electronic Arts, Elgato, HP, Marktex, Chrome, Arc, whatever, 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 everything is here. The thing is, Windows C is uh, the partition where my Windows is installed. So obviously, Windows can be a little touchy about you making changes here. The best way to go about this is to simply install it into another partition like library D where I put all of my games and everything that I need to screw around with from time to time. So simply changing the installation directory can also help. Now this next step isn't recommended but you can try and disable your antivirus. Uh, just because antiviruses can sometimes be uh, a bit touchy about what programs make changes to your system and since you're trying to write a file that can easily be misconstrued as malicious activity come here do not do this unless you're sure the file that you're using is secure because you can end up installing a malware or ransomware or any of number of bad things on your system so please don't do it unless you're sure all right let's get back so uh what you're going to have to do is press the windows key and search for windows security right here click on it to open Head over to virus and threat protection, which is the first thing. Scroll down and click on this manage settings button. And in here, just disable this real time protection slider and turn it back on once you're done making your changes. Keep that in mind. Do not leave this slider turned off. Your PC can be at risk. And uh, that's that. That's how you can uh, possibly fix the issue. Another thing you can try is running the program in compatibility mode. Now, uh, how does this happen? So, well, let's let me search for a program. Let's say Audacity, right? Um, you right click this and click on open file location. This will take you to the shortcut that Audacity uses, but we need to find the actual exe file, not the shortcut. So we're going to go and click on open file location again to get to the executable file. In here, you're going to right click head over to properties 
then head over to the compatibility tab and now you can uh, both permanently run this as an administrator or you can run this program in compatibility mode for a bunch of given windows operating systems once you're done making your changes click apply click ok and then try running your program again and it should be just fine Another security measure on Windows that can sort of keep you from making changes to your files is uh, controlled folder access, which as the name suggests, controls access to several folders. How to disable this? Well, press the Windows key and simply search for controlled folder access and you'll see it pop up right here. Click on it. You will see one very simple slider. Disable it. You're good to go. You can kind of leave this slider unattended, but uh, it's just better if for uh, in the interest of security that you do enable it uh, otherwise if you're just making a quick change or if you want to allow a specific app through this you can select it here and let windows security take care of the rest lastly it's good to check if your windows installation has any corrupt or missing files from time to time so just press windows key plus x and click on windows powershell admin open this up and in here we are going to type uh, sfc slash scan now this will scan your windows installation for any problems that might happen and it can help you fix any errors by pointing out that several files are missing or something is corrupt and so on and so forth it's just a good habit to run this command from time to time just to make sure that your windows installation is up to date and protected from any corrupt files of the sort Finally, one more thing that you can try is changing user account control settings. How we do this is we press Windows key plus R to open the run prompt. And here I am going to type user accounts, user account control settings, press enter. And now this will open up. Now you can make sure that this slider is sitting either on either of these views. So uh, this is the same thing, uh, the lower setting essentially dims your desktop, makes it so that your desktop is still available, visible and then the other one just completely blacks out the screen with just the permission prompt. I like using this one, uh, it causes a bit of an interruption in the workflow but it makes you really look at the dialog box. Uh, always notify can be annoying and never notify is obviously not something we want to use. This is just to make sure that every time uh, a app or a program tries accessing some sensitive settings you are asked first the, so that the setting isn't revoked for no reason also but also so that you get control save your changes click ok give it the permissions it needs and then just try restarting your setup again and it should start working just fine if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.